Uh, hello, I'm going to do a, a quick video today on just creating another size of a bolt. Um, I, I'll do another video on creating it like an anchor at some point, but for now I'll just do this short video. So I have these bolts here and they keep changing the size of them. So you can see, uh, um, 10 minutes ago I had a 3 eight and a half inch of this A307. Uh, I created this 5 8 inch bolt just a minute ago in a video but the audio got cut off so I'm redoing the video so what we'll do is we'll create a setless 3 quarter so if I go to nut and washer you'll see I have quite a selection or more of a selection so I want to go to setless so if I just want to have this bolt but I want a 3 quarter with no nuts I need to go into the management tools. I'll go to bolts. I'll go to. Sorry, just drag this onto the screen. I'll go to bolts A307. <coughs> so, what I want to do is I'll go here to the three quarter. Let's mm -hmm. hit this to filter out what's in our system. So, this is what we have. I click on the three quarter bolt. I'll go to the set and it's a nut and a washer so I'll also pick setless and then apply and that will also apply the sentence of a setless set to that so if I apply it <coughs> now the three quarter can have no nuts or also have the nut and washer which was available before so if I close this down and click on this a couple of times to reset and now three quarter is also available so you can make that three quarter now I don't want a three quarter as you can see that's quite large uh, but they're gonna want that to be five eighths so you just basically have to go into the size you want. In this case, that has a nut and washer, and then just go in and add the option to have a setless. Um, uh, please give me some feedback if you enjoy the videos, or if there's anything you would like to have in a short video. And uh, please like, subscribe if you're interested. Uh, thank you for your time. Hope it helps. Bye bye.